Hi, welcome to the first video of probability calculator. I will talk about discrete variables in this video. Let's take a look at the example 1. The probability distribution of the number of cups of ice cream a customer buys could be described as follows. 40% of customers buy 1 cup, 30% of customers buy 2 cups and 20% buy 3 cups, and only 10% will buy 4 cups. Question A is to calculate the mean and the variance of the number of cups of ice cream a customer would buy. Question B is what is the probability of a customer buying 2 or more cups? First, let's quick review how to solve it by hand. Suppose x represents the number of cups of ice cream a customer would buy. So x can be 1, 2, 3, or 4. The second column is its corresponding probability of occurrence. That is a formula for mean. All we need to do is to calculate the probability weighted sum of these four outcomes. After plugging the numbers, the mean is 2. For the variance, we will take the difference between each outcome and the mean, square the difference, and then we are going to multiply it by the probability of that outcome. So the first one is 1 minus 2 squared times 0.4. The second term is 2 minus 2 squared times 0.3. Similar for the rest two terms. The result is 1. For question B, it is a probability of x greater than or equal to 2. That means x could be 2, 3, or 4. We just need to add up the probabilities corresponding to the three numbers. That is 0. 0.6. This is a very simple example. If the numbers are getting harder to calculate by hand, we can use radiant. From basics, Select Probability Calculator. Since this is a discrete random variable, the distribution type is discrete. We need to enter all possible values and use space to separate them. For the next line, we need to specify the probability for each value. Now we get the mean and the standard deviation. Standard deviation is the square root of the variance, so we can square it to get the variance. For the second question, we would like to get the probability of x that is greater than or equal to 2. So we select values as input type and set lower bound as 2 and leave the upper bound as blank. We will get 0. 0.6. This is the same as what we calculate by hand. Thank you for watching.